Danny Flex there for seconds out with my old friend David Price. Just been announced you're going to be fighting Dave Allen. Well, it was actually announced yesterday, I think, but it's been formally announced you're going to fight Dave Allen on July 20th at the O2. I asked your trainer, Joe McNally, this earlier, but I'll ask you, why is Dave Allen the right fight for this stage of your career? I just think, um, as far as quality is concerned, it's not too much of an ask. You know, it's a very winnable fight, which is what I've spoken to you about in the past, is the fights I want to take is ones we go right. It's in my favour, although Dave's the betting favourite and is seen as the favourite because of the form he's in. In my mind, I'm like, I like, you know, it's right up my street. Style-wise, everything, the, the, what there is to gain, it's just a perfect time for both of us to fight each other, I'd say. He wanted to fight me a few years ago. I didn't want to give him the opportunity because of the, the way he was. He was pissing me off, but he, he seems to have changed now. He's all right, and then always a bit more respectful because he's elevated his, his position, and and you know he is where he is. But then I had more to lose than gain, and I did agree to the fight at one point, and then it fell through for for one reason or another. Um, but anyhow, here we are. So this is the right fight for them reasons, you know, style wise, you know, the quality. You know, he's not he's he, he's he's not world level killer material, although he. Good in his last fight and, and won with a great, a great body shot. So it's just, it's, it's perfect, really. Yeah, see, I was going to ask you about that because you did say before you either want to be in fights where you're favoured or you want to be in fights where if you're the underdog you're well compensated. Mm. So does this kind of fall into both categories, maybe? No, because this is this is a fight where I'm the underdog because, but sorry, an underdog where when I look at it and go, well, it's very winnable. Not like Pavekin where it's like, oh, I'm, I hope, I hope I get. I land a good shot and I hope I hope I win with this one I'm like Sands I'll go for that you know and, and let the expectation be on him not that it's going to be massively over on him but you know he, he, he's favoured going into it Are you surprised about that? No 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 he's won his last four fights and Lucas Brown is a name with one defeat on his record and he done him in three rounds so I'm not surprised no You fought and you know, you were dominant at domestic level for quite a long time, and arguably he hasn't proven to be beyond domestic level yet. So it's, it surprised me that he was the favourite. Yeah, well, it's, like I said, it's it's how people read into my last couple of defeats, maybe or other defeats even, and maybe look at other things. I don't know. It's just 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 is what it is. But it's um, like I said, it's not a problem. And last fight, obviously, we talked about Cash Alley's. Um, provocation before the fight which really seemed to fire you up and you said at the time you thought it was a good thing does that mean that this isn't as good now because there's a lot of mutual respect this time um, I don't know when you're this far out from the fight anyway a press conference doesn't really make a difference you're three months away from the fight anything could have happened there and you would have had time to adjust to it mentally it's it's probably more towards the fight if it gets a bit leery that's when you, people can get into each other's heads or whatever but um, I don't know. I, 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 either way works for me, I suppose. But I, I do know one thing. It doesn't matter what gets said by Dave Allen or by me. This fight's massive. It's the biggest fight for me in my career. So I don't need I don't need any additional motivation to, to get me fired up or, or whatever. Where does the winner go from here? What sort of level can they then aim for? Probably fringe world level. Uh, fringe world level, yeah, I'd say so. Or, or you know, top ten, top top ten in, in the world, top fifteen, and then you're talking, you're you you're potentially getting the phone calls to go and fight one of the one of the big fellas. I'm sure you've been asked this already today, but when uh, Jarrell Miller failed his drug test and was withdrawn from the AJ fight, at however much notice it is, short notice certainly, did you ever consider throwing your hat into the ring for big money? No, no. I was aware that, no, I wouldn't have been worthy of, of it at this stage. I would have looked like a fool as well, and I, I would, I didn't even cross my mind to be honest. Um, although everyone, everyone was scrambling around. Exactly, yeah. yeah, but but you know, no, no, it didn't. And what do you make if it is confirmed that it becomes Andy Ruiz Jr. who's in there to fight him? Do you think that's a decent replacement at short notice? Very much so. Yeah, very, very, very good fight. Andy Ruiz is. Um, Underestimated because of his physical appearance, but he can really fight, and, and it's a bit of a curveball for, for Joshua. He's a shorter fighter than uh, Jarrell Miller. Yes, I, I like that fight. I think it's a good fight. Brilliant. Well, we wish you the very best of luck. Obviously, Thank July twentieth. We know you love interviews, especially with us. So. Loved them. I love them. Yeah. Just the phone interviews. I don't like because people can't see me face. All oh, right. I thought it might be that. Yeah. 
All right, we'll appreciate it. Cheers, mate. See you soon.